Hey Cancers, this is going to be an X reading to see if it's likely if your X will come back. This is for December 6th through the 12th for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's going on with Cancer and their X. Cancer and their X. in their ex. All right, guys. I hope you guys have been well. Ooh. Okay. Just going to take a look at those. I wasn't ready to pull, but what jumped out is a seven of pentacles. This is somebody having hope. Somebody studying something. Studying what they've put out there. Somebody coming back because they have held out hope, taken a leap of faith to do so. But there's a need to, you know, stop overthinking things. Stop overthinking things and just do it. Just do it. Be confident. Okay. So that's just a little tidbit. Let's see what's what's going on with cancer. And their ex. All right. Hmm. All major arcana so far. What's going on? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Huh. Let's see if you guys can see all of that. Let me try to turn this camera a little bit. Okay. All right, guys. So, you know, when I when those cards jumped out, um, there was a need to, you know, somebody wants to join to come back to reconnect but somebody's doing a lot of thinking having ruminating thoughts um you know not confident in how they will be received i feel when those cards jumped out so here you are with the strength card you have one two three four five five major arcana cards in your reading and there are nine cards. I don't know what the middle card is. This is the this is the potential outcome. So we'll wait to the end to flip that. But there's a lot going on around you guys. There's a lot of um, you know shifts happening. I feel um, you come as a strength card, and I feel like this is you. This is just you. Either you have, you know, you're right on the cusp with the Leo, as a Leo, but shielding yourself. I feel like you're at the point where you are shielding yourself um, from this person. This person hurt you, hurt you badly, and... Um, it's taken some time for you to get here. And I feel like this has been an ongoing saga between the two of you. Strength card is number eight. And it's just like, you know, the infinity here. And that's just going in a loop and, you know, cycle over and over again. And so I feel like what, what you're shielding yourself from is, has been ongoing for a while. For a long time with this individual um they come as a justice card they have a an overwhelming need to make things right with you overwhelming need to make things right with you um i feel like they have a lot of regret i just feel like sorrow um 
feel a lot of sorrow coming from from your ex um, overwhelming but what you want you just you just want to get over this you want to get over the hurt you want to get over the pain um, you know it's like this person is so embedded in your heart that even if it's been eight months, 11 months that you guys have not been together, it's still very present for you. And I feel like you just want to get over it. Like you no longer want to be with them. You just want to stop thinking about them is, is what I feel that you want. You also want the person that you are destined to be with. And I feel like this is something that you've been thinking about for a long time. And I feel like you felt like this person was the one for you. And so it was like a rude awakening for you when you guys um, separated. And I could feel like the pain, the hurt um, coming. I feel that strongly, almost overwhelming. Um, what this person needs is patience. What they want is, they want patience. They want, they want reunion. I thought I heard something, but they want union. They want balance. They want to be able to understand the connection because they feel it. They feel it too. They feel it too. All of these are major arcana cards. And I almost feel like you guys are, um, you're, you're mirroring each other. You are mirroring each other. I'm looking at the sequence of cards right now. I feel like there is a progression in this relationship, though, in this connection. Um, because we, we start off with the eight. Then we have justice is 11. Temperance is 14. The star card is 17. And then the moon is 18. So coming to you with what you need, the moon, to to see things clearly, to see things for what they are, to deal with your feelings. I think there is a need for you to really, really heal. Um, and I think you are, I think you are, I, but I think you also kind of shut down sometimes and not, and just try to brush, brush your feelings aside when they are so very real. There's a need to deal with those feelings. And this person needs to be happy within themselves. I feel like, gosh, that this person was just not a happy person. I feel like you were always trying to lift them up. I feel like you were always trying to build them up. And it took a lot out of you. I, I feel like it drained you. I feel like it drained you. But let me say this, because the Nine of Cups is also wish fulfillment. And the Star card is also a wish. You guys are mirroring each other so. Because the temperance and the moon is kind of similar to me because it's a need to like get your feelings, get your emotions balanced, just get balanced, you know, be patient, just learn what it is that you need to do to, to not, you know, just bulldoze your way through things, you know, to recognize how you're feeling and to deal with it um, accordingly. There's something very significant about um, your relationship with this, with your ex. Very significant. 
very strong soulmate energy um, here. And um, is there anyone else involved? No, not for you. This is a cancer card. This is you. Um, you're not thinking about, you know, anything else. You're like, I feel like you're waiting for the one. Not just anybody's going to do. You're waiting for the one. And you felt like this person was the one. And you guys have a very, very strong connection. Very strong connection. Now, this person comes as the Ace of Cups. Is there someone else involved? It's, it's quite possible. It's quite possible that they're trying to start something new. Quite possible. Either they're trying to start a new relationship or they're just, you know, just trying to, to get their happy back, which is what is needed. Okay, so this could go either way. Either they're just trying to, you know, accept the love from God and, you know, love themselves enough to not, you know, be in this real grump monster mode, um, which is not appealing. Or they could be actually starting something new, embarking on a new relationship. Could be. This is, is Union Likely, the Page of Swords. This is not a good card. Um, but keep in mind, too, that this is just for December 6th through the 12th, so things could change. But the Page of Swords does not speak. The Page of Swords just does a, a lot of observing, um, planning, possible snooping, um, but they don't speak. So... This is not the greatest card to have in the place of um, likely union. So for the 6th through, six through the 12th, I don't see that happening. But I do feel like, you know, you guys are probably keeping an eye on each other. You more so them than them. Um, I feel like if you're not, you know, watching them on social media or something, um, there, there's, there's something going on where, you know, you're, you're trying to figure things out with this person, figure out what's going on with them. Um, and they may be drinking too much. They, they may be, you know, needing to pull back a little bit or doing something else to try to like, you know, to keep their mind off of this connection. I feel like, yeah, but they're really, you know, it's, it's so, um, odd to me because they have justice right here. I think this justice is them, you know, just kind of needing to take an inventory of themselves because they, they want to make things right with you. I don't think they know how. I don't think they know how, or either they feel like it's too late. Because with the Ace of Cups down here, with the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, that's feeling regret also. Missed opportunity. So, okay. All right, Cancer. So that's what I have for you for December 6th through the 12th, your X reading. I'll be speaking with you soon.